In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix Fortnite not launching Switch to DirectX 11. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along fixing this issue and making sure that you have DirectX 11 or even DirectX 12 set up ready to launch Fortnite is extremely simple. First, what I recommend that you try is that you go over to your library, right click on Fortnite and in here, go into manage. You will be able to enable this option here, launch options. So tick this box and you will be able to type anything in this field. What you have to type here is D3D11, just like so. You don't need to type anything else. And if you do have other additional stuff, just make sure it is properly separated. But as long as you have this D3D11, it is going to launch Fortnite using DirectX 11. Make sure that you take this option before leaving and you are now ready to launch Fortnite. Now, if you are switching from DirectX 12 back to DirectX 11, you might have to wait a couple of seconds, maybe because of possible updates, or it might take some time to actually make the switch. I'm going to display this on screen because I usually run with DirectX 12 and you are, if you are switching back, as you can see, it might take a little longer than usual. But don't worry, this time, Fortnite will be forced to use DirectX 11. Basically, that's what typing D3D11 on the launch option does. In fact, if you visit the settings, you will find the DirectX options in there. Now, if you are able to get in game, you can manage the DirectX settings in there. And after this method is done, I'm also going to show you something else that you can try if it's still not working. So I just want to go into the settings where you can find the rendering mode. Like I said, if you are able to get inside of the game, you can switch back and forth between direct X versions here. Now with this out of the way, I'm going to showcase the last option that you have for running and switching to direct X 11. All that you have to do is visit the Microsoft website and look for direct X and user runtime. You can also look for direct X download on Google and you will arrive at this page. This is where you can download a bunch of versions of DirectX to make sure that all the programs that use this will work, including Fortnite. So after you are done updating DirectX and you go over to your library and try to run Fortnite, you will be able to have it use DirectX 11. If even after updating all of the drivers, including D3D11 on the launch options and messing with other DirectX aspects of your computer no, did not solve the issue, then unfortunately that could mean that the graphics adapter or GPU that you have simply does not work for running Fortnite and you will have to switch devices. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix Fortnite not launching Switch to DirectX 11. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.